that's why we got so you sick at here. all that New York and New Jersey had the highest death rates in the of country? Course. Does, that, does that make you pause it and say, It all troubles gosh, me, Ted. And to watch but, but, guys but, like you stand by and Chris, stroke your beard you like a wise man instead of telling Chris, the president to get on it when you have Chris, power How about tell your brother problem. to get on it? Uh, my brother will stand for his own record. Why don't you talk to the president the way you talk to my brother, Ted? You afraid of him? You think he'll smack you down at home? You just want to repeat insults over and over and over again. Oh, but you're like, not. Actually talk about you just bring up my for brother for half the interview because you're such a fair guy. Well, you play no, it so you, straight you, down you, the you, middle. You were, right? you were just playing in a biased way, attacking Because the president's Texas, not Florida, at the top Georgia, of the food chain. Coincidentally, happen to be Republican states. Welcome back, everybody. Real quick, just wanted to thank all my Patreons, my subscribe star subscribers, and all of you who have donated to this channel. It's thanks to all of you that it's been able to continue this long, and I hope it keeps going. So this interview, it's a long 20 minute interview so obviously I'm gonna have to cut it up and edit it to all the best parts but this is one for the ages you've got to see it because it's just a great example of hypocrisy and the lack of self-awareness that we generally see and what we now call the Democrat Party media Chris Cuomo literally just puts on a clinic in hypocrisy the guy and just a complete lack of self-awareness uh, he constantly is contradicting himself he's defending Democrats while attacking Republicans and all while denying being political. But it's just a very entertaining interview. At one point, Ted Cruz just gives up trying to change minds, and it's just all about taunting Chris and triggering Chris, and uh, he does a really good job of it. Anyway, it's a complete shit show that I guarantee you you want to see, but first, I got to take a quick capitalism break to thank one of this channel's great sponsors, Noble Gold. You know, life has never looked so uncertain as it does right now. Across the U.S., people are being paralyzed into indecision, humming and hawing about everything, feeling flustered and ultimately shutting down, avoiding that issue, the money one. But as bleak as it might look, there may be a silver or even gold lining. If you worked for a company for years before COVID came around and you were let go, you might have left some treasure behind. Your old 401k or IRA could be worth thousands and it's still working for your old firm not you. So if you're a bit uncertain about what the future holds right now, you should call the team at Noble Gold at 1-877-646-5347. And if that's not incentive enough, with each qualifying IRA, you'll get a solid silver five ounce Apollo 11 coin free. So it's worth jumping on the phone and calling 877-646-5347 now. That's 877-646-5347. But let me be clear also, the, the press is completely hypocritical on this issue. Really? Um, the, 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 the press is partisan in this regard. So 10 years ago, mm -hmm. 2010, Joe Biden gave a eulogy for Robert Byrd, who was mm -hmm. a grand cyclops right. of the KKK. Yeah. That's 10 years ago. You're really going to go with that? Oh, yeah. You I know you're a master it. debater, and uh, uh, Professor Dershowitz tells me that, you were the that, that, smartest student he ever had at Harvard Law. You're going to go with that weak-ass argument here? Bird? You know, you know I'm, I'm glad you, 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 you take tips uh, on, on insults from, from, from other folks. Really? Look, Am I insulting oh, you, sir? Oh, yeah. Oh, so? oh, yeah, you are. And, you, and, so? and you're enjoying it. That's, that's I am fine. not enjoying you know, it at you know, all. Chris, I'm not enjoying Chris, anything about this except having an opportunity for you to say the right thing at the right time. Chris, there was a time when CNN actually cared about being journalistic and talking about oh. facts. D Donald Trump broke you guys. I mean, you're just really? your entire show, your entire network mm -hmm. now is just how much you hate Trump. Oh, my God. Just look at that lower thirds. It says Trump again refuses to condemn white supremacists. That is an outright lie. Trump has been condemning these groups, white supremacists, white nationalists, the KKK, David Duke. I mean, going back years. He has yet once to condemn white supremacy the neo-nazis he hasn't condemned the darn thing you've got david duke just joined a bigot a racist a problem would you, i'm not would looking you for repudiate david duke? sure uh, david duke and robocalls are out again the white supremacist movement supporting you uh, do you have any know. words for that well i disavow david duke endorsed me okay all right i disavow okay when we looked at it and looked at the question i disavowed david duke so i disavowed david duke all weekend long on facebook on twitter and really? obviously it's never enough and i'm not talking about the neo-nazis and the white nationalists because they should be condemned totally. There can be no evasion and no games. They must reject any group or cause that is built on bigotry. He was talking about you. But I've rejected. How many times do I have to reject? I've rejected David Duke, rejected David Duke. 
Uh, I've rejected the KKK, the Ku Klux Klan. From the time I'm five years old, I rejected them. When I put out that I reject the KKK and David Duke, nobody picks it up. You know why they're not? Because they don't want to pick it up. When Chris joined, we had a news conference, and they asked me the exact same question. I said, I disavow. I disavowed then. I disavowed today on ABC with George Stephanopoulos. I disavowed again. And David Duke is a bad person who I disavowed on numerous occasions over the years. I totally disavow the Ku Klux Klan. I totally disavow David Duke. Ultimately, he got to the Ku Klux Klan, which obviously I'm going to disavow. You're telling me Chris Cuomo doesn't know about any of this? Of course he does. He's just a liar. He's paid to be a Democrat Party liar. He definitely managed to throw Ted Cruz off a bit there, and he never really got his point out. But I'm pretty sure I know what he was going to say. He was going to bring up the fact that while Trump is constantly made to condemn these groups, and even though the media constantly acts like he never has, even though he does it over and over again, Biden never has to condemn these groups by name. Yes, he went out there and he generally condemned violence, but he never called them out by name. He never called out Antifa or BLM or the communists and Marxists who have been rampaging across this country for five months now. And beyond that, Chris Cuomo is on record saying that these very groups don't have to be peaceful. In fact, he's saying that uh, a protest that's useful at all is violent, that peaceful protests get nothing done. I get that your show wants to attack Texas and Florida and Georgia because they have Republican governors. We have also had much, much lower death rates than many other parts of the country. And, 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 and it's, it's political, the attacks you're making. We've introduced actually legislation that, uh, in, the, in the Senate to create a tax credit for employers to test their employees what happened on a it? weekly basis. Why haven't you guys voted on it? Uh, well, the Democrats are blocking voting on everything. They've filibustered legislation multiple times. I, I don't think either Pelosi or Schumer actually want anything to pass. Mm. Are they, did they read Green Eggs and Ham? Uh, by the way, have uh, they tried that one yet or no? They're saving that for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chris, right? Did he just say Green Eggs and Ham? That's Green Egg and Ham it. What? Do you actually want to talk substance? Or, or, <laughs> we are or talking insult? substance. I just like to call out the hypocrisy when it's there because uh, the I, audience heads stay on straight that way because they're uh, not uh, like, wait, I, this is the green eggs and ham guy. Is he talking about filibustering? You know, that's what this show is. Oh, Chris Cuomo just likes calling out the hypocrisy. So his audience's heads stay on straight. Are you kidding me? Okay, so what? So Republicans filibustered at one time. Democrats have filibustered. They're filibustering right now. But what does Chris Cuomo do to deflect from that? He just points to Republican actions and says, oh, I'm just pointing out hypocrisy. I'm not going to get into the filibuster or how much it's been used because it's been used uh, a lot in increasing frequency. But my only point here is that both sides use it. And it's just hilarious that uh, Chris Cuomo would deflect from that by pointing to Republicans and say, oh, I'm just calling out hypocrisy. But that's the problem, Chris. The only hypocrisy that you ever see and that you ever call out is against your political opposition, the Republican Party. While putting on this act that you're some sort of objective arbiter of hypocrisy and standards, give me a break. But I have to tell you to cheapen it by saying mm. I want to take political shots about COVID. You know I had it. You know my wife had it. You know my kid had it. Yeah, Chris, you also lied about it. Then you went outside and broke quarantine. Then you picked a fight with an elderly man who called you out for it. Then you gave your wife a pass for promoting bleach baths as a deterrent from COVID. Then, of all things, you pretended to emerge for the first time from your basement during one of the most cringy CNN propaganda pieces I've ever seen. But yeah, Chris, go on. It couldn't be less political for me. There is something disgusting that Democrats are doing, that Joe Biden does, and that you do, which is you try to blame the, the, the people who've lost their lives mm. on your political enemies. And, and, and that's just no. not right. It, it, it's, no. it's not right I'm at all. I'm saying that when and you hear, two, when you hear 200,000 right, people die, you don't say it is what it is. I'm saying that when, but, but you, know when what? you could it's have slowed it down not and you right, didn't, Chris, you When your it. brother has presided over the state mm. with the highest death rate in the country. Mm -hmm. and, New York's and, and, and I'm not, and I'm stand not, for itself. I know your brother didn't want those oh, people yeah. to lose their lives, but you oh. shouldn't oh, play well, politics good. with So you don't attack. think he intentionally killed them? That's good. That's no, very of charitable course of you, not. Ted. Of course not. But Must I do think Christian we can have a very... <laughs> Wait a minute. What did he just say about being a Christian? But, but I do Christian can have a... Oh my God. 
I mean, imagine that that was a Muslim or a Jewish person that he just said that to. I don't know what any of this has to do with being a Christian. All Cruz was doing was pointing out that he isn't a hypocrite because he judges Andrew Cuomo by the same standards that he judges all politicians and Trump. He gave Chris enough rope to hang himself with, and then Chris proved that he is the hypocrite who lacks any self-awareness. At no point has Chris Cuomo ever blamed COVID deaths on a Democrat-run state. It hasn't happened. I searched for it, searched far and wide, and found nothing. Chris, we can have a very reasonable policy discussion about the policy mistakes in New York and New Jersey mm -hmm of sending COVID positive patients into nursing homes. Mm. I think that was a that very serious all over the policy country, mistake. Right? That wasn't uh, no, the most vulnerable population. No, it didn't happen in Texas. one of the reasons why you're, the death rate in New York is four times the death rate in Texas. Texas. the place where the governor was, said that you didn't need to test and you didn't need masks, right? Okay, and the president that, gave that, him a pat on that, the head. Was it a mistake when your brother implemented a policy that nursing homes had to accept COVID positive patients and endangered the lives of My tens brother of was the first one to say that was there a was a learning curve and that mistakes were made and they changed things as soon as they could. Well, but then now, don't look, be a hypocrite I could write about that it. Then, 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 a political then don't claim, attack, right? And, and, I could and, ask and you. I'm, I could ask look, you questions look. about only things that have to do with your family, but I'm not going to do Look, the fact is, when it comes to total deaths in this country from coronavirus, if you look at the list per capita, all the top states are Democrat-run. And the second highest in the country right now is the one run by Chris Cuomo's brother, Andrew Cuomo. This is where Cuomo really starts to melt down, because as you can see, he's fine criticizing Republican governors and, and Trump. That's fine. And he claims he's not political. He's being objective. If he's not partisan. But the second that Ted Cruz starts talking about the failures of his brother, the uh, Andrew Cuomo, governor of New York, suddenly he starts getting defensive and changing his standards. Suddenly he's pointing to other things to deflect from. Suddenly he's giving uh, his brother the benefit of the doubt. Oh, he's learned from his problem. I still remember being completely blown away when I found out like four months into this pandemic that New York City just started cleaning the subway system. That up until that point, they were just kind of left dirty and disgusting. I've ridden on the subways in New York. They're pretty gross. What is he even talking about? Why would you talk about Ted Cruz's family? Ted Cruz's family aren't governor of states. Andrew Cuomo, your brother, is a governor. He's a politician. So any criticism coming from Ted Cruz or anybody in the media is completely legitimate. On every They've level is much, to. much better than New York and New Jersey and That's Massachusetts not true. Look at New and York's Pennsylvania. Numbers. Look at the rate every day of testing. 33,000 deaths puts versus 15,000 They were the hub of where people were coming. You guys want to celebrate China, you let in 40,000 people. It had already moved to so, Europe. So, so Chris, you let in tens of thousands of people. It they went you? to the hubs. That's does why we got so sick. Does it trouble you at all that New York and New Jersey had the highest death rates in the of country? Course. Does, that, does that make you pause and say, It all troubles Gosh, me, Ted. And but, to watch but, but, guys but, like you stand by Chris, and stroke your beard you like think, a wise man instead of telling Chris, the president to get on it when you have Chris, power. How about tell your brother to get on it? My brother will stand for his own record. Why don't you talk to the president the way you talk to my brother, Ted? You afraid of him? You think he'll smack you down at home? Oh, is that yeah. what it is? I'm like he shut you up in the primary? The raising my voice to match your own because you, you, you want to play games, Ted, and, and me. people that's are okay. dying. That, that, you just want to repeat insults over and over and over again. Oh, but like, you're not. Actually talk about you just bring up my for brother for half the interview because you're such a fair guy. You well, play it no, so straight you, down you, the you, middle. You were, just, right? you were just... All in all, a pretty good performance from Ted Cruz there. He missed a couple points, but you can't expect him to remember everything in the heat of the moment in a debate like that on national TV. A couple quick points. Uh, Cuomo brought up the uh, travel ban and the fact that you know 40,000 people still ended up back in the country. Well, those were American citizens, and if uh, Ed Trump had banned them from coming back, he would have been shredded by the media for doing that. Chris Cuomo is just a hack, and you can tell by the way he gets so defensive when there's even the slightest bit of criticism of his brother. Suddenly those standards that he holds Republicans to just go right out the window. And now he's got all these excuses for why the numbers are so bad in all these Democrat states, especially his brother's state in New York. That's all I have for this episode. Please hit that like button, share and subscribe. Make sure to let me know what you think about the new set in the comments. And if you want to support this channel, you can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.